We have a, a beautiful building to actually come and work in. We have top class facilities and we've got a large staff doing both research and teaching and, and that makes for a very dynamic, enjoyable place to work. Chemistry basically underpins every aspect of our consumer-driven lifestyle. We constantly are looking for new materials for smaller, faster mobile phones, paints that don't smell when we paint our rooms, better fibres to go exploring in hospitable parts of the world. The world would be a very different place without chemistry. Because of the size of the department here at Manchester, we have a lot of power, so we have finance to invest in the latest support for research and for teaching. So we just invested in a new diffractometer, so undergraduates will be able to use that later on in their course. Uh, in the first and second years there are spectrometers that they can use in the teaching labs. In general the university is incredibly ambitious, so they, they invest money in refurbing lecture theatres, the teaching labs are very new and very modern, all the research facilities are very new and very modern, so it's an excellent place to do research and to come and study. When you come in as an undergraduate, because chemistry is a practical subject, you spend a day a week doing chemistry in the lab. You also have lectures, and you have lectures across the full range of chemistry. So in the first semester, they're very general chemistry lectures, trying to get everybody to the same level. In the second semester, they become more specialised in inorganic, organic and physical. And we also do tutorials, which are small group teaching. So that's about six students with one member of staff, no more than six ever. And then we have uh, workshops, which are more like classroom teaching, so maybe 30 students or sometimes 100 students but six or seven members of staff. So they have a whole spectrum of, of teaching experience. Industry has supported the, the facility that we have here, in particular Brooker are the principal instrument manufacturers in this area um, and they have funded some of the work that we do. In fact, we, we have a, a Brooker sponsored lecturer who works for us. We also have a, a large number of industries who come and want to use our facilities and lean on our expertise. One of our organic chemistry books is written by Jonathan Playden and all my friends that had gone to study chemistry at other universities said, oh, we were told to buy this book by Clayden. Um, I could actually say that Clayden lectures me in lectures and that's quite an impressive thing because as an undergraduate these people are kind of like celebrities to you because you, you see them on books. It's quite a varied teaching experience here at Manchester because we're a large department, the student experience is quite wide. We run everything from a peer assisted study support programme where you would be taught by third and fourth year students who've been specially trained to assist first and second years in their studies. We also have a mixture of practical work in, in the labs and workshops with a number of academics or the traditional lecture that most people are used to with one academic study in front of a number of students. As an international student, it was pretty hard at the beginning, but people are so friendly with me that I adapted really quickly and I'm really thankful them for that. The facilities at Manchester are incredible. I mean, the undergraduate facilities, uh, like the undergraduate teaching facilities, put a lot of universities to shame. They're like top of the range, brand spanking new, better than some of the professors' labs, if I'm honest. This is an interdisciplinary institute, the idea being to bring together chemists, physicists, electrical engineers, chemical engineers, people from other faculties to do research that takes place at the interfaces between traditional disciplines. I'm a member of STEMnet, which is encouraged by the university, so I work with the university's outreach programme and the Museum of Science and Industry and you go to schools and you explain how chemistry is fun, so you do lots of experiments for children. Manchester has a, a very good reputation amongst employers, so any students that choose to come here will benefit. We invest quite heavily in the development of transferable skills. We have over 60 academic lecturers, which means that if a student wishes to go on and study for a further degree, such as a PhD, they have a very, very broad depth of chemistry that they can choose to research, and, and that's a very, very big advantage. We have many, many researchers who are working right on the cutting edge, which means if you come to Manchester, you've got a very good chance of being taught by the person that wrote the textbook rather than a person that just read it. Yeah.